Hey, my name is James Nicholson. This video, we're gonna talk about why is there such little stock? Why is there not enough rental properties on the market at the moment? Now, you might be watching this video as someone that's just looking for somewhere to rent, or you might be an investor. And so I wanna cover both sides so you really get an understanding on what's happening in the market and what needs to happen to improve that. So, there's lots going on in the market at the moment. Obviously, you've seen in the news, interest rates are going up. Also, the fact that house prices are coming down. And more importantly, related to this video, there are not enough rental properties. So I'm actually a landlord myself. My most recent purchase, I put the property with an estate agent and they had hundreds of inquiries in a day and it was rented out in less than 48 hours. That's in Dorking in Surrey. The one prior to that was in Doncaster and we had that one rented out in four hours. In fact, people were offering more money than the actual listing on Rightmove, which was absolutely insane. So why is this happening? Well, the government have an agenda that they just aren't really into landlords. And it's very easy to bash on landlords. In fact, some of you are going to do that in the comments on here, I'm sure, and say landlords are disgusting people. But not all landlords are. I like to look after my properties. I like to look after my tenants. In fact, I'm often taking derelict houses and bringing them back onto the market, which is a good thing for the surrounding area. Now, what the government's doing is making it so it's not tax efficient to be a landlord if you own the house in your personal name. And so if you run a business, which I do, you can uh, take things off as costs in your business. For example, if I buy this pen, I can deduct that from my tax bill. Landlords can't do that anymore. And that's uh, something down to uh, section 24. Now, because of that, A lot of landlords have just left the market because you could actually be losing money as a landlord. You might be getting a thousand pounds in rent. Your mortgage might be 500 pounds, which means, hey, look, there's 500 pounds there to make profit. But your tax bill could be 500 pounds on that, which means you'd break even. That's before anything goes wrong with the property. Now, whatever you think of landlords, that's not fair, is it? Because business owners don't have that problem. So a lot of landlords have left, tens of thousands of landlords have left the market in 2022, meaning there is not enough rental stock. Other things are pushing landlords out the market, like interest rates. Now that's hard for everyone, whether you own a property or you rent a property, rising interest rates are not great for anybody. But if you're a landlord and it's a business, you can choose to then sell that property. That might be then sold to a first time buyer, which is good for them. But the bigger problem is, and why we don't have house prices that are more manageable, is we just don't have enough houses. The government have a target to build 300,000 houses per year. They build about 100,000. This target has been there for years. So we're probably more than a million behind on what we actually need. If we had that million houses, we would then have a more steady market. Prices wouldn't have risen like they did over the last two years because it's a supply and demand thing. And that's a big issue. Now, other things that are gonna be difficult for landlords is there's a new rule that says no fault eviction means that you can't, if you want to take your property back, do that unless the tenant has done something wrong. Now. I've never had a situation where I've wanted to take a property back off somebody, but there might be a scenario in the future. Maybe there's a tenant that's just being really loud, causing problems for other tenants in the block, and it's just difficult to prove. So I just want to move that tenant on and get a more suitable tenant in to keep the other neighbours happy. I can't do that without proof now and it's really really difficult and slow to do that now that sounds like the right thing of course you don't want to just be kicking people out because there are there are some unscrupulous landlords that do that that isn't the majority of landlords right and so that could be a good thing but what i'm saying is it just means more landlords exit the market
right? There are more landlords exiting the market again. So that's another reason why landlords are just leaving in droves. Let's just quickly look at some other stuff that's causing landlords to, to leave um, the market at the moment. I've got some notes here. Um, yeah, I mean, house prices going down. That means that a lot of landlords have made some good money in the market and they just want to sell, right? They just want to sell the property and cash in on that. So there are less landlords because of that. Interest rates is probably one of the biggest things that's going to cause problems for landlords um, in the future. Um, but also rent caps. Now, as a tenant, if you're watching this, you might think, well, that's good. Because in London, Sadiq Khan is saying that he wants to put a rent cap in place on properties. Now, while that might be good because it keeps your rent down, where it's going to be bad is because even more landlords will leave the market, right? So if even more landlords leave the market, you can say, well, look, the rent's capped at a grand and that's good. But if there's 10 people going for one house, the chances of you actually getting that property are not great, are they? It's still the supply and demand issue. We need more properties in the UK. That's very, very important. So houses are gonna fall. Um, higher tax bills when you're selling as well. So capital gains tax is a tax that you pay when you sell a property. Uh, and that is lowered at the moment and going to expire. So that's gonna push more people to sell now to get out of the market right, because they want to get out the market and like solidify those profits. Uh, and, and that means there will be less rental stock. Now, this is another one uh, that is a difficult one as well. So you have something on a property called an energy performance certificate. You might have seen this when you rented or you might have seen, seen it when you purchased a property or whatever. The government is saying by 2025 that they have to be at a level C, right, a level C. Now, some properties, that is impossible. Imagine if you own a Victorian building in London with sash windows that you can't change. Maybe they're listed even. You're going to find it very hard to get that energy performance rating up to a level C. Now, new builds, it happens automatically. That just is part of the building process at the moment. And I agree that this is an important thing. We want to save the planet. We want to keep people's energy costs down. But the government aren't really thinking this through. They're just saying, that's where you've got to get it to. There's no real support. There isn't many schemes out there that are going to help the landlords. And so what will happen is the landlords again will sell, they exit the market, meaning less rental properties and that's where i think the biggest problem is going to be in 2023 24 25 and 26 is a lack of landlords is what's going to be your biggest problem so if you want to rent at an affordable price you need to really 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 get more landlords into the market because the more landlords competing the less rent you will pay for properties and the more stock the more quality will be out there as well, because if there's a lot of properties out there, then the quality will rise significantly. But what do you think about all of this stuff? There are less rental properties. You haven't just imagined this. Uh, it's something that's going to get worse and worse and worse. What do you think should be the solution? Comment below and let me know your thoughts. Do like this video, guys. Uh, check out all the other content on my channel, including this video right here. Bye for now.